Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and I've got about 40 incredible private stock items to show you today. All of these private stock items will be available tomorrow on our website, ashlandleather.com. You can check out the private stock tab at the top of the page and these will all go live around 5 p.m. Central Time, again tomorrow, January 21st. And let's start off first here with a remarkable Giant the Fox and one of the coolest pieces of psychedelic shell cordovan that I've ever seen. And this piece of psychedelic shell has just about every color in it. It's a little bit of a rainbow here. We can see it go from a little bit of a magenta, pink, purple, a little yellowy orange, green, and then it sort of fades back to those same colors on the right side. This is a really cool piece of psychedelic shell cordovan. And Amir, who made this one, is one of his last wallets that he's made for us at Ashland Leather. He said this is one of his masterpieces. We've got the same sort of color concept on the interior of this giant of the fox along with the baby Ashland stamp on the right. And here's another absolutely remarkable Giant the Fox. This is a new piece of shell, and I'm not sure if I should even give this a designation yet because this is the only piece of shell cordovan that has been finished in this style. This is what we're calling a skip finished shell, and I believe this is color eight shell cordovan stain. I think he used a certain applicator to apply different layers of stain on the shell, and I think it turned out really nicely. I think. Skip's been interested in trying some different looks on the shell cordovan, and we do have a couple pieces of that special skip shell in the batch today. This first one, Johnny the Fox here, more of that same look of the skip shell on the bottom card holders here. Here's another great Johnny the Fox in a new version of that shell cordovan, inverted black shell cordovan here, and the inverted black has a color range from black to greenish black, and down to a little bit more of this orangey tan as the lighter colors and all the colors in between. You get these really interesting drip marks that kind of remind me of reverse shell cordovan. And speaking of reverse shell cordovan, we got a great reverse black interior on this one. I love the color on this reverse black. It's a little bit more of that forest green shade. Here's another great Johnny the Fox, 100% teal latigo on this one. On the exterior, this is actually steer hide Latigo from Horween in a really vibrant teal shade. And I really love the Latigo that Horween makes. It has an exceptional grain character to it. It's very, very grainy. And because it's his combination tan, we get a lot of that veg tan character in the Latigo from Horween. And we're also able to get a bright, shiny shade just like this. On the interior, we've also paired it with teal Latigo. Although on the inside here, this is actually horse hide to pair with the steer hide Latigo on the exterior. Here's another customer favorite leather. This is the green. Dublin leather. We have one giant the fox left in this green Dublin. We don't have much more of this leather. In fact, I don't think we have any of it left. We decided to pair this green Dublin on the exterior with the mock horse hide. And we also don't have any more of this mock color horse hide interior. The mock color is a little bit more of like this yellowy tan shade. We're trying to get a lighter, more natural and neutral color that we're going to call natural just have a little bit less golden yellow to it and a little bit more of a straightforward neutral shade here's another giant of the fox is pretty similar to what we normally do for our 100 percent english tan dublin giant of the foxes so we have that incredible character and feel and look of the dublin on the outside here and exceptional english tan color this is our most popular color we're actually running some trials for different interior leathers this is a color we came up with i'm going to call it tan and the tan here is a little bit lighter and a little bit less vibrant than the english tan dublin on the exterior and i have one more giant the fox to show you here in a really cool color this is intense blue shell cordovan this is a color that we don't carry any longer I've actually replaced this color with the denim blue shell cordovan, which is a little bit more vibrant of a blue, a little bit more of an aqua blue, or the intense blue is much darker. It's almost more like a navy blue shell cordovan. It's a really nice piece of shell here. And on the interior of this, we have reverse color eight on the interior. We do have incredible dye splatter on the interior here. And you can see that little bit of color eight stain sort of splashing from the left side and it continues onto the right card holder. So here's something special. We've been trying to make some more NATO watch straps and this is a 20 millimeter NATO watch strap. We actually made two of these in the raw natural shell cordovan. And I sort of flipped around the backside here because this is intended to fold back under that little keeper there, just like a traditional NATO strap. So we've made this in raw natural shell cordovan. We also sort of played off that raw natural by using this matte finish stainless steel hardware. So you have a stainless steel buckle on this 20 millimeter NATO watch strap. And we have two Capone money clips to show you. This first one here is another customer favorite. This is marbled cigar 
Shell Cordovan. This is a color that Horween started doing for us maybe about a year, year and a half ago. And ever since we started doing this, I was surprised to see how much people love this color. So the marbled cigar is kind of similar to the marbled color eight that you might be familiar with. But there's a little bit less burgundy to it. So it's more of a straight up brown, a little bit of orangey tan in the lighter color range. And on the interior, we have more of the marbled cigar shell cordovan. And one more Capone money clip to show you. This is one of my all time favorite shell cordovan colors. This is color number four shell cordovan. It's sort of halfway in between the color eight shell cordovan and the Garnet Shell cord Cordovan. So you get this sort of medium brown with little bits of reddish undertones. Some angles when you look at the color four, a little bit more of these like caramel shades sort of appear and pop out. It's a very interesting shade with a great uh, dramatic sort of color shift to it. On the inside, more color number four Shell Cordovan. What's different about this particular Capone? We've included the gold or brass money clip. We've been calling it gold color, uh, but it's actually a brass shade. And I have two Frank the Enforcers and a three shot card case. We're gonna start off first here with an English tan Dublin Frank the Enforcer. The reason that this one is private stock is it's actually got our old Ashland stamp on it. We've since replaced this stamp to be a little bit more minimalist so it doesn't have the A circle logo. So I'm just calling this one private stock because it's not matching up with what we're currently offering. And I also have this cobalt blue Dublin Frank the Enforcer. And you can see here the difference with the stamp, a little bit more of a minimalist vibe on this particular piece. And if you like blue leathers or blue colors in general, I think the Cobalt Blue Dublin is a really great choice because it has this darker blue, almost a navy blue surface color. And the lighter undertones are a little bit more of an aqua blue. And I think the combination of those two colors together are very compelling. And here's that three shot card case I mentioned. This is reverse black shell cordovan and we flip this one backwards to show off the horween ink stamp on this side as well as the really cool dye splatter and coloring on this particular piece of shell cordovan so the reason we call this a three shot is we have a card slot on the front that you can see here we have a card slot on the back that you can see there and then we have one larger card slot in the center all of these are designed to hold credit cards so us dollars will stick out just very slightly from the top and i do have a couple key cases in a rare shell cordovan color this is the cigar shell cordovan so we have a couple vault key holders made and this extra special leather. It's a little bit like the color eight, but a little bit less burgundy shades to it. I also have the Lexington key case. This one just has one screw post in the top here. You can put three keys on the inside that sort of swivel out. It's really good at protecting your pockets from getting scratched up. Now here's a wallet style that we don't currently offer as a standard item. This is the Machine Gun Jack in Whiskey Shell Cordovan. This is just a very simple card case. In fact, it's made from one big symmetrical piece of leather, which is how the design came up. In fact, Nick Horween was the one that uh, worked with me on this design. It's a really simple card case. If you wanna fit US dollars in here, you have to fold them into thirds. And here's another Machine Gun Jack. This one is all reverse color eight Shell Cordovan. You can see we've got that ink stamp cut basically perfect into the exterior. And you can see the underside here, this is the shell side of the leather, the color eight shell. And we flipped it backwards on the outside here to showcase off that ink stamp, as well as some of these random die marks. And we were looking at the teal Latigo Johnny the Fox earlier. I also have a couple one shot card cases made in that same teal Latigo. I love the way that Latigo wears in and in particular on this teal color, it gets pretty dark. It almost looks like a pair of denim just after a few months of wearing it. Now here's another private stock item in a leather that is just remarkable. I think this was a customer ordered item that they changed their mind on. And this is what we've been calling the blood orange shell cordovan. And the intention here from the tannery was to make some amaretto shell cordovan. And it turned out a little bit dark and a little bit more red. And there are some of these little bits of modeling going on on these particular pieces of blood orange shell cordovan. But it is a very, very striking piece of leather, especially something with such large context like the long wallet here. So long wallet, extra tall, huge context piece of leather. This is our largest pattern piece for the wallets that we make. And on the interior here, you can see more of that blood orange shell cordovan. We've got all the card slots made with the blood orange latigo, and there's larger two card slots underneath each of these three stacks. And let's take a look at a couple Bugs Moran. We have another piece of whiskey shell cordovan here. A lot of people come to us because they're interested in getting a whiskey shell cordovan piece. This is a tough color to get. It's pretty similar to the natural shell cordovan, but a little bit darker and a little bit more of a golden brown shade. Uh, the whiskey compared to the natural shell. On the interior here, this is actually natural shell cordovan, but this is the raw natural shell. So you can see a little bit 
bit less luster to it. There's a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's nowhere as bright and shiny as the normal Shell Cordovan on the exterior here. And the reason I like that is I love the way that the raw Shell Cordovan wears in because it starts off light in color and very mild of a luster. you will really be able to see this one develop just with normal use. Here's another Bugs Moran in Garnet Shell Cordovan. This is the most red color that Horween makes. Actually, earlier today I was doing a live stream. We were looking at some chili Shell Cordovan shoes from Allen Edmonds. And I believe this is what Allen Edmonds calls chili. We actually call it Garnet Shell Cordovan. It's a very nice shade with a really dramatic color shift to it. And on the interior of this one, we have more of that Garnet Shell Cordovan with a Horween ink stamp about perfect in the center. One more Bugs Moran to show you. This one is built for patina. So we got raw natural Shell Cordovan on the exterior as well as raw natural on the interior. So 100% Raw natural shell here. This is gonna wear in really, really well. I expect the raw natural to get much brighter and shinier in the luster, but also the color is gonna become much darker and more golden brown, and it creates a really nice depth of color with the patina development on the raw natural. Here we have a tall Tony the Ant, and my favorite texture from Horween. This is the Western texture on the color number eight shell Cordovan. Really nice piece of leather on this guy. Take a look at the inside too. More of the Western color eight on top of normal color eight on the interior center. So you get a nice play on texture on this tall Tony. If you're not familiar with this design, this is like our normal Tony the Ant, except the bill slot on the outside extends all the way to the top. So you can fit all the world's currency, all the world's paper currency on the bill slot of this one without it sticking up above the thumb notch. Here's another tall Tony the Ant, again in that Latigo leather that I have absolutely love. And this particular Latigo here, this is all horse hide. And this is a color called stone. So stone horse Latigo here on this tall tone of the ant. It's a really nice gray color. It's almost got like a subtle bit of brown to it. And again, with that bill slot in the back, you can fit every paper currency. Here's a look at the interior, more of the stone Latigo. And that, again, I like the horse hides because they're thinner. So this particular wallet here, because it's all horse hide, Despite having all these layers, it still remains very, very thin. And I love the way that the Latigo wears in. So this is one of my favorite tall Tonys that we've done. Here's another incredible piece of reverse psychedelic shell cordovan. And the reason we did this one reverse is because we kind of have this sort of ghost look of the Horween measuring machine stamp on the exterior here. That's a really cool look. And I don't think I've ever seen a psychedelic piece look just like this. It kind of reminds me of some of the first psychedelic we ever saw with this color range that's sort of more magenta to green and purple. That's a really great look on this Tony the Ant. And you can see on this guy, we have that bill slot. So US dollars, that's what we designed this wallet around to fit right inside the slot. But some euros and some yen stick out a couple millimeters from the top of the slot, which is why we developed that tall Tony the Ant. Let me give you a look at the interior of this one. We have violet shell cordovan on the left and right. And you can see in the center, some of that psychedelic shell cordovan peeking through. Up next is a really clean piece of black shell cordovan on the Tony the Ant. And there's something magical about the black shell. It just has a really, really sleek vibe as the motorcycle drives across the front of our shop here. Really sleek vibe on the black shell. I love how the light sort of bounces and reflects off of this particular color shell. I think it's the most underrated shell color is the black shell. Here's a look at the inside, reverse black interior. And I know what you think when you see that it looks green, that's because the reverse side of the black shell cordovan are all this green shade. The black dyes that they use to achieve this color on the exterior, this black shell cordovan color, all those black dyes are a little bit of a green black. So when they get diluted in water, that's how you get this reverse green shade. And I have a couple Tony the Ants in a new popular leather. This is Brown Nut Dublin. We don't have any of this leather left, so we're making a couple private stock items out of it. Take a look at the great figuring and grain character on this Dublin leather on the exterior. And Brown Nut is a really nice neutral brown shade. It's a little bit lighter than the cigar color that you might be familiar with. Here's a look at the inside, more brown nut Dublin. Now let's have a look at my favorite and our flagship wallet design. This is the Fat Herbie. And the first one here is that epic character on the natural shell cordovan. Really intense figuring on this particular piece of natural shell. Whenever we see shells like this, that are just not very often, that have all this amounts of figuring and character, we try to save them for private stock wallets. It's just really, really cool, especially when you shift it back and forth. 
how this texture sort of appears and disappears. A very cool look on this Epic Natural. Just look at the inside, more natural shell cordovan on the interior of this Fat Herbie. And I've got two na two more natural wallets to look at. And let's, let's take a look at them all side by side here. So the first one here on the left, this is natural Chrome Excel that you might be familiar with. In fact, I'm wearing some boots right now made out of this leather. Uh, Grant Stone also makes boots out of these and they call it Dune Chrome XL. And when Grant Stone calls it Dune, it's actually referring to the natural Chrome XL, which is this color here. Really great leather. It's got a really nice sheen to it. So if you see if I rock it back and forth in the light, you can see it has this polished sort of shiny look to it, like a mild sheen. The other leather here is also natural Chrome XL, but this is a variation on the Chrome XL called M's Chrome Excel, and that M stands for the word mechanical. So this is the formulation of Chrome Excel that was used for motor seals and gaskets and all sorts of different machines, uh, like tanks for World War II and trucks and things like that. It's a really cool leather. And the big difference for me is that grain character, again, nice subtle sheen to it on the M's Chrome Excel here, but it's much more grainy because it's not been polished flat and even. The other sort of side effect of that is you get to see a lot more character. So this particular piece here was made from a horse hide and I cut the mane down the spine of this wallet. So this is a horse mane cut into some M's Chrome XL on the Fat Herbie. Here's a look at the inside. We've got no, more of the M's Chrome XL. And in fact, I've been wearing a tall Herbie in that same leather. I love how it's wearing in. And I just think the M's Chrome XL is super neat. I kind of wish I see this leather in more places, but at the moment, it doesn't seem like many places are making things out of the M's Chrome Excel. So here's a side-by-side -side look of how that leather wears in. You can really see how much it's sort of shined up and uh, developed patina in my pocket. And the other sort of hidden secret about the Chrome Excel wallet here, the Fat Herbie in natural Chrome Excel. Take a look at the inside. We flipped one card holder on the left backwards to show off the measuring machine stamp. So this is a rough outside on the left with the standard natural Chrome Excel on the right. Here's another all reverse piece with more Horween stamps. We saved them, saved them for you for this private stock event. All the stamps on the outside of this one, and I'm expecting this particular piece of leather to wear in very, very well. You can almost see the amount of wax that's been tanned into here. And this one's just a little bit more thick than most of the shell I see. Take a look at the interior. Whiskey shell cordovan in the center. In fact, all this is reverse whiskey as well with a Horween ink stamp on the left. Here's a great wallet with a combination pairing of two different blue leathers. So we've got denim blue shell cordovan on top of some raw denim shell cordovan. And you can see maybe in the video here, hopefully, you can see the difference in luster. So the standard shell cordovan, super, super bright and shiny, but the reverse shell underneath is a little bit more of a matte finish. It's also lighter in color because no polish has been applied to it. And on the interior, we have more of the raw denim shell cordovan. I really like the raw denim. It's a really nice aqua blue shade. Here's another fat Herbie that's pretty similar to our standard English tan Dublin fat Herbie, but this one has some epic grain character. Check out the figuring in the grain on the exterior of these. Every time we get an interesting piece, a little bit more of a unique piece, we like to save them for the private stocks. So we've got more English tan Dublin on the interior of this one as well. And speaking of the M's Chrome XL, this is another M's Chrome XL piece here, but in a different color. This is the Russet M's Chrome XL. And the Russet is almost like, it reminds me of like a color number four shell cordovan where it's a medium brown with some reddish undertones. It's interesting, on some of the photos, it looks a little bit more red than it appears in person. It's almost like a lighter, more pale brown with some red in person. Here's a look at the interior, and this passport holder here is really great. You can fit a passport on the right side, as well as a field notes holder on the left, or two passports or two field notes if you like, and then we've got some card slots on the left as well. And here's another one of those really, really cool uh, skip finish wallets, I think I'm gonna call it. I think he hand finished some shell to his taste. And this particular piece has a really cool fade to it. So it's a little bit darker on the surface, which hopefully you're able to see, hopefully I'm able to capture in the video here. And then it fades down a little bit lighter in the bottom. And the other thing is about this texture that he's sort of hand finished onto here. It's got like a weird sort of um, three dimensional look to it. That's hard to describe, but you might be able to tell uh, a little bit better in person or even in the photos, I noticed it, it kind of represented this product really well. It's got a cool color shift to it too. Definitely a unique look uh, from Skip Horween. So we decided to include it on the interior of this guy as well. And I really hope this is translating because that look is very, very cool. And if you guys are excited about this one, definitely let me know because we can ask Skip uh, to continue to make 
products that look like this, but maybe in some different colors. And we've got two more items to wrap up this special private stock event. And just a reminder, these all go live tomorrow, and that's Friday, January 21st, and we're gonna launch these at 5 p.m. Central Time. If you're a subscriber to our newsletter, you'll be able to get a one hour advance, advance notice there. But all the stuff that you're seeing in the video, these are all the items that will be available on the site. Check it out, ashenleather.com. And there's a private stock tab at the top. I can just click on there. And all these will be available at five o'clock. So this guy here, this is a really special belt. We don't put a lot of belts into the private stock because sizing can be sort of challenging. And this is not gonna be an exception. This is a size 41 inch belt and a really cool piece of russet brown Dublin. And actually this is, you can see, it's extra thick. And that's because there's two layers of russet brown Dublin sewn back to back. So you get the grain side of this russet brown Dublin on the top, and then the same grain side of russet brown Dublin on the inside. And then we stitch all that together and give it a nice little wax and burnished edge. And then uh, you can, the other big difference about this one is you can see, because we had to stitch these together, it's got a little bit more of a dressy sort of refined look with that stitching going all the way down the edge. And then of course we also have our traditional teardrop shape holes for this belt, but it's size 41. If you fit a 41, I highly recommend this belt. And to wrap it up, we have got four more belts, but you'll be able to pick your size on these up to size 46. So this one here, this is actually a leather called Wooly Chrome XL. It's tanned a little bit different than the standard Chrome XL or even the M's Chrome XL. There's a different stuffing blend in it that has more wool grease to it, which is why they call it Wooly Chrome XL. It's got a really nice rigidity to it. Pretty firm temper on this particular piece of Wooly Chrome XL. And then they've stamped in my favorite texture. So we've got the Western texture on top of that really nice piece of brown Wooly Chrome XL. We've included the antique brass buckle. And of course, we haven't cut these out, but these will have the teardrop shape holes on the other side. So if you're size 46 or less, we'll be able to make one of these belts in your size. We have four of them only. So anybody that orders, we'll probably just reach out to you directly to work on sizing. And we can make this belt to order to your size in this really cool piece of Western Wooly Chrome XL. So that's all the items from the private stock video. I'm gonna go back to this guy. That skip special, really interesting hand finishing on uh, some shell cordovan here. Let me know what you guys think about this. I think it turned out great. And in particular in this piece, the cutting that was done just to sort of frame out that fading of color, I thought was very, very thoughtful. And it's just a really unique piece. So if you wanna be the first one to pick up an item made uh, from Skip Horween himself, this will be the first item ever made out of that particular look. And if you guys have any questions about any of these items, maybe you want to know more about Stone Latigo, which I don't think we have any of this either, but Latigo leather is really special. If you have any questions about the Latigo and the M's Chrome XL, standard Chrome XL or anything else like that, definitely let me know. And until next time, I hope you guys have a good one.